In just a few hours, the Supreme Court will release the last two rulings of this year's term. One of the cases challenges a requirement of the Affordable Care Act. Jan Crawford's at the Supreme Court with the issues at stake. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Mario. So this is it. I mean, this is the last day of the Supreme Court's term before they go off on their three-month uh, summer recess. They go off to Europe and uh, teach and give lectures. And like always, they've saved the biggest cases until the very end. And you mentioned the one that we're all following. It's called Hobby Lobby. It involves a challenge uh, to keep part of President Obama's health care reform law. Now, remember, it was just two years ago that the justices upheld the major part of that law, the underpinnings of that law that requires everyone to have insurance or pay a penalty. This is a much more narrow challenge, and it looks at a provision in the law that requires employers to offer insurance plans that include free contraceptives. And this couple, a religious couple that own a uh, chain, about 500 arts and craft supply stores across the country called Hobby Lobby, they're challenged it, saying that it violates their religious beliefs because some of the contraceptives they think, like the morning after pill, for example, are akin to abortion, and they do not uh, believe in a uh, woman right to have an abortion. So they're challenging us a violation of the First Amendment. Now, the other case that they're, uh, it's going to come down uh, today uh, involves union dues and mandatory uh, requirement that you would pay union dues. This case is kind of a sleeper case. It hasn't gotten a lot of attention, but if the court rules broadly in this case, and there's some suggestion that it may, this actually could end up being the biggest case of the term uh, and one that could really be a big setback for labor unions. But we'll find out uh, in just a few hours. Charlie? Jan, thanks.